Hey everybody, welcome back. We did something out of character. <laughs> well, it, not exactly, but yeah. we went yard sailing. Yeah. And so we don't do it as much as we would like to because we just don't have the kind of luck that they <laughs> tell you they tell you you're going to have. Mm -hmm. Like you see all of these uh, channels and they're like, oh, I went to a yard sale and I found uh, 30 sealed G1 Transformers and I paid $40. And it's like, <laughs> sure you did. It's like, Every other day they're at a yard sale or a yeah. flea market finding like a million dollars worth of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and, you know, I've got older on this channel, like going way back, older videos of like yard sailing kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And found some decent things. That's all like way back in Kansas, like a decade ago. <laughs> and since leaving Kansas, haven't had any luck really. Yeah. Here and there, this and that. But we had some nostalgic finds today. Mm -hmm. We had some things that we found that were just like, wow, that's just great. And, well, first of all, we'll start with that. Because <laughs> she is a sucker for a Bible. <laughs> and this is a family Bible. And I believe it's a 1966 edition. Yeah. From, uh, was it South... Southwestern? It yeah, Southwestern. Yeah. Southwestern. In the, the subdivision next to us, they had like a... I guess a street yard Community sale, yard sale. And like very um a bunch of houses on this one street. So we went and then we walked from um a uh, yard sale to yard sale. And That's at this enough. one they had Bibles and they were free. Yeah. And I had I have this thing in my mind where I'm gonna rescue all Bibles <laughs> <laughs> hey, at thrift stores it's all and right. stuff. You know, I just I love hate the, to I love see the artwork them. and the family ones. Yeah. It's not even filled out. No. No one ever filled out the family tree in this. But I, I hate seeing Bibles at yard sales and at thrift stores yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. So I'll buy them. And I probably He's got, knocking at the door, folks. I probably got way more Bibles than I need. <laughs> it's okay. It's <laughs> but, okay. But, hey, if you ever need one, let me know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we, we went to another one. And it, they, yeah, it was like an estate sale that the yeah. people ran because they had it in their house and it just priced everything yeah. in the house. And we ended up getting a lot of pulp, a yeah. lot of uh, books and things like that. Look at this. Coloring book. Dino Mutt coloring book. Hanna-Barbera's Dino Mutt coloring book. And this is um, 1977 Hanna-Barbera. Looks like Scooby Doo a little bit. On yeah, that same. Page. Um, same company. Same company, of course. Yeah. And this, I think, is a couple of pages. Like somebody made a really bad attempt at coloring that in, <laughs> but some little kid. But you know, for the most part, it's undone. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I just got that one because that's of the cover. amazing. Yeah, that's a nice cover. Um, it's wrecked on the inside yeah, though. Yeah. An ad there and this is an old one this is like what 65 yeah 65 and some of it is unused like right here and some of it there's been attempts to color in yeah and paint it and do yeah, all kinds of stuff but, uh, some of it is really bad most of this book <laughs> is is not done that's not too bad yeah I might color in the rest because it's already been colored so <laughs> the color in the book I mean, it's already wrecked. Yo, Joe. But I, I love the cover. I, and honestly, when I saw this yeah. cover, I knew I was going to get it. Um, because that's just a, a, a great nostalgic cover. And I have some of the um, G.I. Joe comic books from this era. And it has, you know, this style cover. cover. So, um, yeah, that's why I got that one. No year on this one, I don't think. Mm. Peanuts, although this would be 60s. And you can tell by the price. In the 60s, it would have been like uh, 25 to 29 cents. So, peanuts. And I'm a sucker for peanuts. Yeah. And that's old peanuts. That's original Charles Schultz uh, peanut designs on the inside. And it looks like, you know, they're just copies of peanuts panels mm -hmm. that you can color. They're left blank. The books are intact, but there's a couple of attempts, again, to color in it. Yeah. Is that it for the coloring yeah. books? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. 
<laughs> Sesame Street magazine. And I'm, I'm covering the address. There's an address label on there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And look, there's a, an ad on the back. But this is just, uh, this is like raw nostalgia. This is an 80s edition, though. This is, yeah, March 1986, it says. Back when Sesame Street was still cool. And there's no, nothing is filled out in here, I don't believe. Mm -mm. It kind of um, <laughs> reminds you of um, of a Highlight magazine a little bit. Yeah, a sensational banana. And I remember this magazine, so it's it's nostalgic for me. I didn't have any when I was a kid, but I used to <laughs> I used to look at them in the supermarket because it was on the stand. You know how like they have the magazine rack yeah. in front of the thing. And back when they used to really be full of magazines, and this was there, the Sesame Street magazine was there, and I wanted it as a kid, and of course couldn't have it. But <laughs> this is so nostalgic to me. Scholastic Scope magazine, which also looks like highlights. Yeah. And this is from April 1978. The tale, three tales of horror. Yeah, this one got three horror stories, so I'm guessing it's, it's like from Halloween or something. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. The other one we have is more magazine. like um, highlights because it has various activities and stories and stuff like that. Yeah, crypto cryptograms. Yeah. I used to love doing those. Yeah, I do too. There's an, yeah, there's an older one in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the <laughs> date is on this one either. <laughs> Shoney's, guys. Yeah. The Shoney's little uh, cub club. Little cub club. And I thing. remember this is the, going the to booklet that they would give you because there's the menu. Yeah. There's the kids menu on the back. I remember when we used to go to Shoney's, but you used to get coloring pages and stuff when you went to restaurants for the kids. Yeah. And they'd give you um, <clears throat> the coloring page and it had various activities in the menu and a pack of. Uh, crayons, like what, four or six crayons or something like yeah, that. Yeah, a little a little packet of crayons. Mm -hmm. And right. you got that. And we used to go to um, Shoney's all the time and they gave that out. Each child under five with adult purchase free. Yeah. Oh, huh. wow. Yeah. That's incredible. I was just looking at these. Oh, 1988. Here it is. Yeah. I found it. 1988 Shoney's. This one's old. Jack and Jill magazine. 1971. <laughs> the condition on it is actually really good. You could send that in to be graded. You probably could. <laughs> it's about comic size, although they would put it in the magazine thing and you sit there and wait forever. All oh, Hot Wheels free in Cheerios. Oh, wow. Get a box of Cheerios and get a free Hot Wheel. Yeah, Jack and Jill, January 1971. This is nice. And this kind of reminds you of highlights too. Yeah, all highlights of those magazines. books like that, with the little stories and the activities, yeah. uh, stuff for your kids to do, instead of having a face plastered to the telephone. Oh no, to your I cell hate phone. that. That's one of the things I really regret about our our modern era. Yeah, is that all, the, all these kids do is sit there and stare at a screen all day. Yeah, and somehow they're being creative. I can't see I it. I don't know how, yeah. but at least. In these books like this, you read, you had activities, yeah. um, you had various things to do, so you had, didn't have all of this movement and light in your face all the time. You had to read mm -hmm. these stories and do the exercises, and, and they'll tell you little fun facts and stuff like yeah. that. Um, also, staring at those phones, it kills your peripheral vision. That's, mm -hmm. you know, off track there, but because yeah. you're always focusing you're not aware of uh, things that are in the side which is 80 percent of your vision junior fire marshal publication fall 1971 i flipped through that and this that looks is like just something cool <laughs> this is like something they would give you at the library or the school library you take it home for free or if they <clears> had <throat> the fire department come to your school they would give that yeah, out yeah yeah and yeah. I was just like, that is, this is something you just don't find this stuff. No, they don't do this kind of stuff. Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. Uh, yeah. Then they tell they tell you how to do a home fire drill. Yeah. I mean, those are just information that you want to know. Look at this. This is uh, 1967, a color me crazy book. And I tried to look this up. You can't find this mm. at all. And they had several of them. And there's, uh, they're pictured on the back here. 
and basically it's erasable pages. It's these c coded cardboard pages and you could color them and you could wipe it off. Mm. And so it's like this and it's one of these kind of things where you can, you, you know, you flip the, flip the thing and so you can make different make make pieces. them different yeah you know turn a middle piece there's a little <laughs> bit of coloring in here but yeah. it's uh again it could be removed this is i just thought this was really neat you know i was like wow that is that is a a really interesting a really interesting <laughs> item there oh here's something that uh, really caught her attention yeah and what is what is the year i think it was 1968 mm -hmm. i just want to make sure Yes, 1968. Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows paperbacks. But, yeah. 50 and 60 cent editions. As you know, she likes her... Uh, Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows. It says, oh. America's grooviest ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never before told story of the handsome, mysterious 175-year-old vampire. I don't know about handsome. He was not handsome. Was, uh, yeah, I think that's a bit of a stretch to call Barnabas handsome. I mean, <laughs> he was a fair-looking guy. Yeah. Um, he looked distinguished, but I wouldn't call him handsome by any <laughs> stretch no, of the imagination. I don't know about that. Yeah. This is more of a modern book, but we're just... Uh, fan of this and this is a reading rainbow book so it's yeah, yeah 1988 we're I was a say fan it's 80s. of this artist yeah, she's Jan an artist Brett. artist and she writes these books yeah. but her artwork her style her style she's of very, artwork yeah like look at the she loves doing borders but look at the borders yeah on these uh on these pages. and i mean that's a lot for a children's <laughs> book and she typically does animals mm -hmm. sometimes there's people like this one has a, a a child in it as mm -hmm. but uh, if you again if you just look at the detail on the pages there's so much to study as you look it's uh great for drawing a child into the story yeah and this is a reading rainbow edition again but i mean just like the detail there yeah and she's her, pretty good we've read um a lot of her books because again we have a few yeah. and the stories are really good some of them are funny it was like one or two that was kind of sad, um, but they're great stories. Yeah. The artwork is just amazing. So whenever she com comes across these or we come across these, yeah. we usually we'll grab it, mm -hmm. if, especially if it's one we haven't seen. Yeah. Walk, robot, walk. And this just looked really familiar to me. <laughs> it's a Magic Circle Books Level 1, which means no words. Xerox Gin and Company, Xerox Education. Wow. Yeah, 1974. And it's basically just this kid, and he was making a robot. a robot out of just some junk in a yard somewhere. But then it starts moving for real. And I was <laughs> when I was flipping through this, I was like, there's just something about it. I must have seen this book or read it or something when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So why not? <clears throat> Little Golden Book. Bullwinkle, an original little golden book, Bullwinkle, 49 cent, which we put it where in the 70s? Yeah, 1975, copyright yeah. 62, so this is a reprint. And we watched the um, Rocking Bullwinkle That show's show. hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we finished that one up. Man, I, I remember watching it, but I didn't rem remember how funny it was. Yeah, because a lot of the jokes are adult-oriented. Yeah. You don't think about it. This is another one that I remember reading when I was a kid, so I, was, I just grabbed it. Weekly yeah, reader and the, books. And the I can read books are really good. Yeah, Little Bear. Well, you know. It's so like uh, Frog and Toad is mm -hmm. part of that series, I think. 19, well, that this wasn't published in 57. This is a much older edition, but that's the copyright. This is probably an 80s edition of the book. Yeah. Little Bear. And the Jack and um, Jill yeah. books are in there too, right? You know that C. Jack oh, yeah. run, all of that, man. Oh, that's another color Power book. Lords comic uh, coloring book. Color and activity. Color and activity, 1983. Power Lords. Oh boy, David singing again. <laughs> that's uh, another one. This is really cool. Yeah. Uh, LJN made the figures for that, right? 
I, I don't no think idea. that, that that's a, one of those ones where it's hard to find, and when you do find them on the card, they're all yellowed out and look terrible. And they probably cost a fortune. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, Adventures of Big Boy. Bob's Big Boy. This oh, Shoney's. Uh, that's another Shoney's yeah, magazine. Bob's Big Boy is the one that would, um, you know, they'd give these away. Mm -hmm. Free to our guests. Regular price, 10 cents. Come on. Dear Big Boy. You ain't charging 10 cents for this. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and it's all newspaper, including the cover. This is number 166. Oh, wow. So they, they, they were, were cranking it. these out. Yeah. After a winter workout, there's nothing like... You don't want to eat that coke, after you work out. Coke and a sandwich. Ugh. Well, that's a... Look at that burger. That actually looks terrible. <laughs> that burger's a mess. I'm not sure what year this is because I don't see a date mm -hmm. or copyright. No credits for the for the writer it or the like artist. It looks like Archie's comic a little bit. Yeah, it kind has that of. Feel. Yeah, kind of, but I don't see a date on here anywhere. Mm -hmm. As we dig down, here's another Scholastic. This yeah. Is a, this is an older one. This is 1976. That one looks more like highlights. Yeah, for but for teenagers. Yeah. So it is uh, Noxzema. Noxzema on the back there. Skin care. Cream. And I know that there was, um, let's see, oh, migrants. <laughs> <laughs> Migrant story. Oh, boy. And Million Dollar Horse. Yeah, it's a bunch of stories in here. Mm -hmm, but there's some activities in there. Yeah, see? it is the cryptogram. Is that is that an ad? Yeah, a diamond is forever. See? Is it? Teenage magazine. I don't know if we want because that's that friendship ring. Yeah, that you get your little girlfriend. Oh, check out the sneakers that are on sale at Sears. That promise ring. I would wear those now. Yeah. <laughs> those are a big deal. Maybe you want to join the army. Yeah. Yeah, See? that might be uh, that might Up be a way to go. Sure. That's just uh, interesting. The old postage. What else we got? Oh, Inside TV. <laughs> what year is this? I have no idea. I don't know what year this it is. It should be on the front, right? Yeah, there's something over it. Oh. 1972. Inside TV. Gossip Magazine. And How to Lose 10 Pounds in 10 Days. Don't Eat! Yeah. That's, how, that's how you lose 10 pounds that's a in, Barbie 10, diet. in 10 days. Uh, are they on they are they on their way to the altar? Who knows? Read the article and find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! This is just so neat. Yeah, old tabloid yeah. magazines. Yeah, basically that's what this is. It's all my fault, and it's um. Oh, that's the kid who was from the Partridge family. Well, I guess he had a breakup. Uh oh. That was the breaks, guys. <laughs> and then here we have. This is awesome. 1975. Tiger Beat. <laughs> Tiger Beat. With an ad for Stay Free. Stay Free. Oh, and Tampax. I guess they know who their core audience is for this book. You know only girls read those uh -huh. tabloid magazines. <laughs> There's a, a pinup for of Tony. Who's Tony? Are you swooning yet? I don't know who Tony is. Tony who? That's a good He's question. scared of girls. Oh. How much can a person change in just one year? In 74, Tony DeFranco was definitely not shy. <laughs> <laughs> but now he's only afraid of girls. Ooh, sounds like he's been on the wrong side of Hollywood. Mm. Vincent Van Patten. Now he's dating. You've got a chance, ladies. <laughs> wow. There was a there was a crazy one in here. Oh, this uh, an ad for Midol. Michael Landon speaks out on drugs. Yeah, oh. We already know how he feels about that from watching Highway to Heaven. Mm-hmm. Wow. The, where it's the, um, oh, where is it? Oh, Mickey Mouse Club. This looks like so much fun. And here we go. Pre-Star Wars, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Do you think of him as your brother 
or a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I ought to be posting this stuff on. Um, I ought to be posting this stuff up on the Instagram if anybody looks at it. Tony Orlando. I don't know if that's uh, age appropriate for Teen Beat. Tony Orlando. What is he like? Fifty here. This fun ain't the, Teen Beat. Fun of the yeah it's Tiger, Tiger Beat. Beat. Yeah, but you know Tiger Beat. It's being aimed at kids. This is seventy five cent magazine. Yeah. And there was one more thing, but we didn't bring it. So give me a second. Okay, so this one last thing that caught my eye when we were on the way out, when we were negotiating a cheap price for <laughs> for our nostalgia here, I spotted this jar. It's an old peanut butter jar. It says, extra crunchy Jif. Mmm, texture. And inside this are value stamp value stamp savers look at this who remembers this uh, how old are you guys there's a ton of these green bag stamp yeah and the uh, Top mail away page. thing and you open them up and you see people were somebody was saving their stamps and they stopped doing this a million years ago they stopped that in the 80s because I yeah. remember in the 80s it might have went through to the 90s, but I remember yeah. getting those, and it, it would come out when with your receipt, and you would get so many per purchase, I mean, per your dollar amount purchase, and then you had your books, and you would put it in your books, yeah. and then you got the catalog, and you could purchase stuff. Yeah. And there's, a, there's a, what, one, like two, five? three, four, five of the... Uh, top value gift saver with mm -hmm. the yellow yellow and red stamps and then there's these were stuffed in there also and these are Win dixie <laughs> these are the Win dixie coupon books and there's a bunch of these it says one fifth book savers See? oh wow cash saving special certificate top Win value dixie. 30 stamps right and they were they were filling these out as well See. This one is done. This one is done. Somebody somebody missed out when they changed. Yeah. When they changed that system. They they weren't savvy like the Brady Bunch. Because you remember the Brady Bunch had that episode where they were canceling the stamps. And this is what? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like. Six of these. And I'm just like, that's a real big throwback. Now you can redeem your top value stamps two ways with our cash saving special. Catalog gifts, advertised food specials, and here's how it works. <laughs> you remember these guys? Yeah. And it's just like, I knew that uh, I don't think that these are the type that you had. No, ours but, were green. Yeah. And they were called greenback stamps. But they look just like these. They look like little postage stamps. Yeah. And you got a book. And you put it on the book, and then you cash it in once you got so many points. But I know that that was a that's a big throwback yeah. for a lot of people. You do remember this? So yeah, we had some fortune with the uh, with the yard sailing today. Enjoyed that. Just yeah. some real nostalgia. This is just cool. That's just cool. I love the uh, Mark Hamill in there. Mm -hmm. Some little gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Some other coloring books and neat stuff. And what do you think, guys? Because it's it's hard anymore. So we were just yeah. excited because you know you don't you go to the art sales and it's all baby clothes yeah. and, and lawnmowers. Somebody's got like thirty weed whackers that they're trying to sell, and it's just not the same. So <laughs> and, you know it's not anything. It's worth a fortune necessarily, no. but you know it means something to us. Yeah. So thoughts? Um, any luck recently? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. We hope you did. And if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye.